Dutch Design Greenhouses are one of the world's most innovative greenhouses. Worldwide, we're facing droughts, we're facing energy shortages, and of course, very important, we need to take care of the environment. This means that innovation and sustainability become more and more important. One of the most modern greenhouses is Hoogweg Paprika Kwekerijen. Leo and Mariska Hoogweg involved all their suppliers in creating these greenhouses. Haifa Group is proud to be a supplier of fertilizers to them already for more than 20 years. In 1987, we started a small family business. At that time, we uh, started with tomatoes. Since 1999, we have fully focused on the cultivation of sweet peppers. We have grown to a company of 160 hectares and 500 committed employees working during the high season. We grow and process our peppers in an efficient, sustainable and eco-friendly way. Together with the companies involved, we have built a beautiful greenhouse complex. Welcome to, to Hoogweg! It all starts with the construction. We are proud to be uh, the builder of one of the largest greenhouse facilities here in the Netherlands. With a height of 7 meters, this greenhouse creates the optimal climate to grow bell peppers year-round. This greenhouse is based on the most high-tech novelties, so this greenhouse is fully white-coated to keep as much sunlight in the greenhouse and to give as much sunlight to the crop, because every percent extra light means most of the time a 1% extra yield of crop. This greenhouse is 7 meters high, to create the optimal climate for the crop during summer and winter time. In the gables we have, have clear glass to keep as much light also from the inside in the greenhouse and also from the outside. Uh, but on the roof system we use here diffuse uh, glass to keep even more light into the greenhouse because the diffuse scatters the light and gets more penetration into the, uh, the crop deeply. This glass is also uh, coated with a 2AR coating to get even more light into the greenhouse with 97% direct sunlight and 88% hemispherical sunlight into the greenhouse. And finally, the air vents here, they have the push bars integrated into the glass to avoid even more shading into the greenhouse so we, we, that we get as much sunlight into the greenhouse for as much high uh, production for the client. I'm standing between two of our greenhouses, approximately seven meters high, close to our roof washer. We are using this machine to clean our windows. Windows are cleaned in the greenhouse to get more sunlight into our greenhouses which let the plants better grow and at the end a better harvest. The machine have a few large brushes and they are cleaning the glass together with some water. When the windows are closed on the greenhouse the machine can start driving and when it's finished it will go back to the parking place over here. At Hoogweg we are responsible for the screen installation. The use of screens results in energy savings and a better climate control. Using a screen is the best way to keep the heat in and the cold out. In addition to the horizontal screens, we also installed the vertical screens. The vertical screens insulate the greenhouse when it's cold. There are two basic rules when it comes to screening. Close is closed meaning that there are no gaps through which the cold can get in or the heat can get out. And if, uh, if, the, if the screens are open, they should create as little shade as possible. More light yields higher production. And in order to do so, uh, we use, uh, we use a, a spring clamp. The, uh, and the spring clamp absorbs the shrinkage and the extension of the greenhouse. We install climate installations in greenhouses all over the world. That can be cooling installations or heating installations. In the Netherlands it's mainly heating installations. Um, so in this greenhouse at Hoogweg we uh, in, in heated the last uh, four phases. It's in total uh, 100 hectares, each block of uh, 25 hectares. All those uh, uh, greenhouses uh, are being heated with uh, geothermal uh, energy. That's uh, heat coming from the earth.
So this is the surface. And we drill one projection well, about 2,000 meters depth. So the distance from the surface to down in the well is 2,000 meters. And we drill one injection well, also to a depth of 2,000 meters. So this is also 2,000 meters. And the distance between those wells uh, down in the earth is 1,500 meters. And here at the surface is only seven meters. So we drill up, or we pump up the salty water uh, here. That's a, uh, has a temperature of around uh, 78 degrees Celsius. We have a heat exchanger. We exchange the uh, salty water to sweet water because we cannot use the uh, salty water uh, for our heating system. So the salty water stays here and being brought back into the earth. And the sweet water is being brought to the greenhouses and eventually is being pumped into the heating loops uh, that, heated, that, that is heating the greenhouse. One heating well uh, has a production of about 40 megawatts without a, a heat pump and with a heat pump it has a production of about 20 megawatts. To tell you it more in, in common language, uh, you have an energy saving of about 2,000 to 2,200 cubic meters of gas per hour that the well is running and in total it's running around 8,000 hours per year. So the energy uh, saving is immense. So in total, it's a very sustainable system. You, you, do, you don't use any natural gas and uh, you don't have any CO2 pollution. When growers are thinking about expanding their company, they must think about fertilization. For example, as you can see here, here we see the My MultiFeed Big Bag concept, which is tailor-made. Inside this Big Bag, there is multi-carasi inside, which is potassium nitrate from Haifa, with a very low level, a guaranteed low level of sodium. Also in the Big Bag is MKP and magnesium sulfate. The need for multi is there because in these greenhouses we work a lot with rainwater. Every water which we use is coming back and we reuse it again. The multi is low in sodium and thus we are searching every time for clean fertilizers. As you can see, this grower is invest in big tanks. We have an A and a B tank where we put in the fertilizers. From the A and the B tank, we bring the fertilizers to the mixing tank. The mixing tank is a tank where we measure the pH and the EC. This is the mixing tank unit that provides a drip irrigation system with water. The different types of uh, water streams come together in this machine and will be added with fertilizers. The different water streams are uh, rainwater collected from the rooftops of the greenhouse combined with the return water from the greenhouse that will be reused in this installation. This is the Priva UV sterilizer. To make it possible to reuse 100% of the drain water in the greenhouse, we have to sterilize it with a sterilizer. The drip water is managed by a computerized EC and pH steering that provides the right nutrition and the water that comes back from the greenhouse will be 100% reused. We are responsible for the gutter system. Um, we roll them on site, they arrive as big uh, steel rolls and then we put them in the, in the machine and they're uh, formed in this shape. And uh, every different crop, every different Vegetable crop needs a different type of gutter. So here we choose this uh, specific type of gutter because of the length of the greenhouse, it's 185 meters long. Therefore, we need a big drain channel because we collect a lot of drain water. This is a stone wool slab. It's the growing media um, where the plants are standing on. The water is given inside this stone wool slab. Uh, the water, which is too much, uh, the drain water, we're reusing it and we're collecting it inside the gutter. So 100% of the drain water is collected and is reused again. So it saves a lot of fertilizer, a lot of water, which is of course very sustainable. And of course it saves a lot of money. This is the, the CO2 tube. It spreads the CO2 uh, through the entire greenhouse. And this uh, specific greenhouse is using more CO2 than it produces, which is very good. In sweet pepper you can have a lot of problems, a lot of pests and diseases. The main ones are 
aphids, red spider mites and trips. Here, for example, we have had a problem with red spider mites, but they are gone, treated by our biological agents. And the trick is to have a standing army before the pests and diseases are coming in into the crop. That means that we are starting already after one week of the planting. That is very important. Think preventively, because what the grower doesn't want is damage in the crop. And you can only create that by starting directly from the start of the planting with our beneficials. That is the trick. We've now reached the end point of the process of a pepper, and that is the preparation for the product into the carton for the final package. That is being done by means of a sorting machine. This sorting machine does about 100,000 of peppers per hour. And the sorting is the sorting on diameter, color, weight, in order to make homogene batches of the pepper. And that's being done by means of a camera system. There's a camera system inside which takes images of every individual pepper and measure it based on the components as just described. The next part is that those peppers of the same color, diameter and weight are being put in the correct carton. That's being done fully automatic. The rest is that those boxes will automatically go to a storage system and that is the system which we see here behind, where multiple layer consists of the same carton, the same weight, the same color and the same diameter. Once a complete layer is full to reach a full pellet, it's being discharged to pelletizers. Pelletizers are automatic stacking systems to put the boxes on top of each other. The next step is that a final strap is being placed around the pellet and then the product is final for discharge to the retail or the depot centers. Hoogweg is a high-tech company, but at the end we always need our employees to grow peppers. That is why we take care of them in the best way we can. For example, with good work facilities, but also a nice place to stay after work. I will have a nice dinner. Bye-bye.